Creatine is a supplement that's come under a lot of scrutiny over the last couple of years. There are multiple myths surrounding the supplement that we'll be discussing. The first thing is creatine is not metabolized by the liver. It is metabolized by the kidney and then excreted. Secondly, creatine cannot make you any stronger. It does not build muscle. It is purely a recovery supplement. Creatine replenishing the energy stores in your muscle allows you to do multiple training sessions a lot faster than what you would be able to do without it, as well as replenishing energy stores in your brain. There are multiple studies with very positive influences on cognitive function, so creatine has multiple benefits for the athlete training as well as someone with high cognitive demand. Creatine has multiple benefits other than for the person training to build muscle. One of the big benefits of creatine, especially in the younger population, is prevention of traumatic brain injuries such as concussion, faster recovery after sustaining a concussion, and as well as recovery after studying and schoolwork. When taking creatine, it is important to remember that your body cannot absorb creatine unless there is a carbohydrate present in the substance that you're taking. So importantly, taking it with your recovery shake where there is a carb present is important, at night time, often patients take it with water, of which you cannot absorb your creatine. So taking it with a bit of grape juice or orange juice is a fantastic way to make sure you absorb your creatine dose. Regarding the dosage of creatine, generally speaking, we accept that males can take five grams twice a day, which is a teaspoon twice a day. Females, 2.5 grams twice a day. That is a half a teaspoon. And for younger patients, it is important to consult your doctor. Dosages are weight dependent, but very safe in younger populations too. It is important to note when using creatine as a supplement, there are certain things to look out for. If you do have renal impairment, it is important to consult your medical professional. If you do take creatine, along with the energy molecule entering into the muscle cell, water transports into the cell too. So there is a small portion of dehydration that occurs, so it is important to increase your water intake along with taking creatine as a supplement. When taking creatine as a supplement, there are some side effects which are usually very mild and transient. So some gastric upset like abdominal cramps and a bit of nausea can occur, as well as cramping when taking it if you do not increase your water intake. Very importantly, if you are sensitive to creatine, you start slower on the dose and increase it to the recommended dose. No problem should occur from there.